you will get very thirsty replying to all the controversial comments yeah you have very older sibling energy though. okay you can sit comfortably now yeah, chill yeah. ready <laughs> <laughs> it's fine yeah you don't have to be perfect and all for this it's my channel yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. just hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel we have a very special guest which i should have gotten long time ago but <laughs> all of you already know her this is veronica hello I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to introduce you. It's like so weird. I'm yeah, like, who am I? <laughs> is she my ex brand manager? Is she my co founder? Is she my friend? <laughs> She's all of the above. Uh, super, super special to me. We met three years ago. We completed three years yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. But it's just to get ready with me. Both of us are without makeup, and we look at her bag. <laughs> wow! I carried everything. <laughs> wow! And you think I have too much makeup? But that's a lot of makeup, dude. She's a makeup junkie. Uh, she's my ex manager. She used to handle my back end for YouTube yeah. and Instagram, dealing with brands on the daily. And then she became my co founder for Basic Beauty, like all of you know. And she's also my daughter, sister, best friend, <laughs> and all of the above. Yeah. I can't actually. Put you into a category because me neither. Yeah, me neither. It's such a special relationship I have with her, and you will see, baby. <laughs> oh, I hope you special. never have children because then who's gonna love me? <laughs> She's obsessed and possessive. She's a little I like am, that. What is Veronica's qualification? You go. So I am a college graduate. The last degree I had was. I graduated in 2021 with a degree called Bachelor's in Accounts and Finance from Oh finance <laughs> <laughs> Okay you were talking about your finance degree <laughs> that she has gotten saying that you are great at math here you go But I, because we were laughing cuz Veronica is absolutely bad at math and so am I Like um, we're the worst we don't know what 3 plus 3 is forget 36 or 33 we don't know Nine. What bro what are you talking about man It's six. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so bad. laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I was thinking. Veronica. I was thinking three into three. And she got a degree in finance. Continue. I don't know how they gave that to me. And I got A plus in everything. Oh my god! You cheater. <laughs> She's a very good academic, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's only because I think the Indian education system is not very hard to sort of get good grades in. Yeah, you just have to. Up. Yeah. So and I before my college, I was in Arunpodar School. I was doing commerce there. Um, I didn't go to junior college like most people do. Yes. In India and in Bombay, yeah. I I was in school till twelfth grade. Yeah. That made a very big difference in the way that I am today. Okay. Because. My school gave me a lot of opportunities very early on to mm. like in extra curriculars to build your personality. Even if I started working at fourteen, it was because of the two three apology that school only had. My school only had, so it was awesome. College was a blur. I I don't think I was like actively like yes, I'm going to like ace bath. Like I don't think that was my mission. Yeah, I found like. Twenty other things to do with like <laughs> college festivals and like you know ISEC and mm. different things that I took up before I met you. So ah. yeah. and then tell them about ISEC as well. So ISEC is this organization that's present in one twenty six countries. Um, it's a youth run organization and they do exchanges all over the world. Mm. Their their objective is that they will fulfill the UN's um, sustainable development goals by doing global exchanges and getting people across the world mm. for different opportunities. Overall, it's a great organization if you're above eighteen in college looking for an extra curricular and getting some hands on experience. It has played a very important role in who I am today. Yeah. How I was able to become your manager without any. experience and yeah. not struggle as much as someone normally would. Yeah. I was handling business development and you don't get paid. It's a not for profit organization, but they honestly teach you everything, right? From pitching to stakeholder meetings to client management to sales to how do you sort of maintain um your work professionally, everything. I learned everything there. Um and you're allowed to make mistakes because nobody's paying you right and you, you you can learn from it as you go and you can choose how long you want to be in the organization there is like oh. different um how long are you there two and a half years i want to say yeah so 
I do definitely I think we came with no experience yeah. into being my brand manager no absolutely zero she is not interned anywhere as someone's manager but I have uh, Tej also who's head of procurement and operations and literally she's also an icecaker yeah. came from zero experience very little operational experience and do today she's like nailing it and I feel like icecakers really have certain poise and professionalism in terms of writing emails yeah. beautifully written emails by the way both of them <laughs> write such well written emails I can never and the basics and I think we've learned and I think all icecakers have this quality so in case you guys are looking for like an extra curricular to learn a little bit about yeah. business in the background <clears throat> ISEC is a great organization dude present all over India so no matter where you are yeah. um, chances are there is someone who's running an office of ISEC in their city it's not just Bombay based I've actually built a very solid network of people from different cities of ISECers as well so that's been great too and yeah definitely shapes you in different ways so everyone's biggest question was how did we meet Ooh, Marvika is going to tell you that she doesn't remember any part of it because she's just blacked out on the fact on the day she met me and why she No, no, me. I remember taking the phone call that so I can never forget. <laughs> phone call you remember? Wow. Yeah, when Akhil said, okay, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay, so... You tell your version then I'll tell like my version. Your POV? Yeah. Okay, so basically Veronica, as far as I remember, Veronica emailed me. We were looking for brand managers. Did I post it out? No, you didn't. Hmm. I sh- I shot my shot after watching uh, How to Get the J-Lo Glow video of yours. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Veronica just like emailed me and it was a very well-written email and she'll tell you more about it. I've forgotten. Uh, but Akhil read that. Akhil and I were sitting at Blue Tokai in Andheri West. I clearly remember this in the... Uh, Varsova branch and we were just having coffee working out of the cafe like we do usually and we just get this ping and I'm reading it and I'm like this is such a well written email who is this because we've gotten emails before and they were just not worth it I was like I won't even read them and I showed Akhil and he's like Maz this is worth a shot you need to call her and I'm like okay and I was super nervous as much as she was nervous I was damn nervous because I had Nobody worked for me before, worked with me before. I was just by myself alone. And I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. So I called her and we spoke. I went outside Blue Tokai, I called her and she's like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll meet you and stuff like that. And I was like, great. And then she, we met at Starbucks and then I just, I don't know what the heck I did. I blacked out completely, <laughs> she'll tell you. And I just showed her like how to do some invoicing and things like that. And that's as far as I went I never briefed her ever again like that was the most I briefed her and she picked up and how that's when we officially met yeah yeah that's that's how I remember through email basically yeah so skipped out a lot of parts but yeah um so I I was I was freshly out of ISEC and I was looking for an opportunity that would be like equally exciting for me because I was very heavily invested in ISEC I worked I I went to this I went to this company gave an interview started interning with them and left in five days because it didn't work out for me over Mm. there I was just like this is not my jam and I was watching your video because like Miles I also grew up watching I learned everything from YouTube and you know like from all the YouTubers, we shared yeah. that in common. And so I was like, wouldn't it be wild? Like, I just thought, about it, wouldn't it be wild if I just get to work with her? Like, what if I just sent her an email? Like, let's just see. And in like, What if you just sent an email? Yeah, what that if I just, just sent so it? Mad. <laughs> so I sent it and I was like, you know, if she doesn't reply, my head started, I'm like, okay, if she, if she doesn't reply, I'll probably reach out to someone else. But maybe this is something I should consider because I love makeup. I emailed her at 6 p.m. She replied to me by 8 p.m. In the, in the same evening. And I was like, oh my God, that's so quick. Yeah, I was very... Because I was the only one working for me. <laughs> so I used to reply to every email as fast as possible. Yeah. And so um, I sent, I was, I offered to send my work. I was like, you know, let me show you some of my past work. I can do this, this, this for you. Um, I sent in my resume. I was like, even though she didn't ask for it, I was like, you know, I think it'll just give her confidence. Because now I was like, if she's responded, I would desperately want this. You know, I don't want her to like reject me or something. <laughs> yeah, we met uh, at Starbucks, like she said. The first question she asked me was, uh, who all are your favorite YouTubers and what's your favorite makeup item? And <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, cool. And we made it a tradition to meet every Monday and Wednesday at Philly Cafe for the <laughs> longest time. Over the chai. To, to sign invoices, um, discuss updates. And you would just like brief me on things and I would I would ask Marvika things like, do you have a Google calendar? And she's like, no. And I was like, do you have an official email? And she's like, no. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, so how do you do your two dose? She's like, I just remember. If I forget, then I forget. And I'm just like, okay, then clearly. And I had learned all of this in Isaac. I had learned how to like 
professionally manage things, how to put everything on a Google calendar, how to send emails. So I just brought forth that structure in her team. And, uh, she did, she did. And that's how we went ahead with it. So yeah, we met like that. And I think with every meeting that we had every Monday and Wednesday, we would also talk so much more about work that we became really close really soon. Like, yeah. Okay, how did you trust her enough to give her responsibility that she holds today? Wow. Good question. So yeah, for all of you who uh, don't know, again, she is my co-founder in Masic. Masic is a brand we run together. We started this in the lockdown and I forgot my loose powder. I'm trying this new powder today, Makeup Revolution. Oh, banana I've powder. heard a lot about it. I've never tried it. Even this. I've never tried it. But I've heard so much about like <gasps> banana powders. That's <laughs> enough for three people. I know, <laughs> Nikhil Gadu. Oh yeah, dude. I think I trust Veronica more than anyone in my life. It's really weird to say that, but I think really? I, yeah, I think I can trust you with something she has spilled out uh, without <laughs> knowing about that stupid shit. One, one. <laughs> but we has always kept my things to her she's never i can give her my passwords i can give her anything and everything and i know she'll not misuse it you know she i think mostly i know she comes from a very clean place she has pure intentions and her heart is very pure i think i look for people like that i want to say i'm similar like that not to like toot my horn but i feel like honesty is very important to me and i know how much it means to her as well honesty yeah. no lies it's these values are super important to her too yeah. given our past and i feel like that's why i can trust her with anything today like literally sometimes there are weeks i'm not available for masic and it's literally falling on veronica the entire time and I trust that, you know what, this will be fine. Like, we will take care of it, you know. Yeah. And that's the kind of trust you need to have on your partner, whether it's your career, whether it's your personal life. If you don't trust them enough to do the things that you want them to do, then you have to, like, reevaluate. But, yeah, I think Veronica is a very rare find. Akhil and I keep talking about this behind your back. <laughs> but we're like, Veronica is just a rare diamond. We can't compare her to anyone. Like, we always say, Veronica, kaha se aai? Like... <laughs> She has like leadership qualities, she's open to listening, very welcoming to feedback, will not feel bad about anything, like all these are so important because a lot of yeah. people feel bad and they're like, oh my god, they feel angry, they feel sad, but Veronica keeps in check and she improves. I can't yeah. stop talking about how amazing she is, so, so yeah. Sweet. No, but honestly, I feel like just to add to that, there's a lot of moments where I didn't trust myself enough because everything was so new yeah. and you know, uh, right when I got comfortable being your brand manager of Mesa came across and I was like, I was just getting good at this. Yeah. You know, I was just like being like a boss ass manager and then like become co-founder. I was like, how to do this? So <laughs> yeah. I think the fact that you gave me that trust, I was, it was always in the back of my head that, you know, two people have trusted me with this and I, I never want to do something to sort of break that. You know, yeah. I was like, I will do the best that I can and literally tell myself every day that have I done the best to maintain that upkeep that trust because I don't want to break it yeah and I think that's what kept me going as well so do you guys have differences over money matters I don't um think so. yeah I don't think so I think both of us have come from very non-privileged backgrounds <laughs> tell me about it yeah like in terms of finance i think yeah. both of us are like we've not been in the best place possible growing up financially yeah. so i think we understand the value of money both of us i think we just needed guidance in our personal life as to how to use the money that we are making yeah and you know i think the men in our lives really helped us we trusted them so much i think akhil pranav of course yeah um akhil's father they always give us tips on how to like invest and do the right thing and I think both of us have the same values when it comes to money and how to live below your means and not like yeah. overspend. Nah? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. And I think you and I were undergoing um, rebuilding our relationship with money together because Akhil was telling you that okay, you've saved enough. Now it's time to like you know <clears throat> diversify your portfolio. And Prana was giving me the same thing, and you were also just sharing whatever yeah. you learned. And we were literally okay. We can't like be saving every single penny. It was so hard to let go yeah. of that yeah. Um, yeah. thought process. Yeah. And we've never actually had any kind of differences over money. Like always on the same page, always learning from each other. Yeah. Okay. Tips for dressing up with big boobs. It's so difficult to find good clothes that fit. We can take this one. <laughs> I'm more of a modest dresser in general. And I'm not saying that you can't wear like your like really revealing clothes or whatever. I think I, I've just always been comfortable dressing modestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think bodysuits are a great 
uh, addition if you are someone who's heavy chested wearing turtlenecks or wearing sleeves are always good and i don't know like i never wear like a lot of v-necks i don't wear yeah. a lot of cowl necks like i yeah. i dress very simply i accessorize i use like yeah i think i always wear like the most plain top that fits but i always like go ham on my skirts and my trousers i'm a massive trouser person yeah um because i'm only heavy on my chest i'm not heavy anywhere else yeah. i have a really small waist i'm super skinny otherwise it's just my chest that's because of genetics what um, kind of bras would you recommend what brands would you recommend so i think my two favorites have been from vacol actually mm-hmm. vacol is the only one that fits um women of my chest size and above um it's definitely an investment it's on the steep size like what about nike um yeah good one as well affordable but i think in terms of like support supportive bras that you're looking under like dresses tops that are seamless even currently i'm wearing a vacol one mm-hmm. um it's about 3000 and up for a piece Oof. but it's an investment like my bras yeah. lasted me for 5 years plus yeah um intact like no no wear and tear on it nice. and if you're looking for like good home bras or like everyday bras nike is amazing they nice. do some awesome stuff which is under 1000 bucks per piece so these two definitely how did you guys come so close so soon like i said i keep wondering as well like same i'm like you know as always there's <laughs> never like this one moment and everybody keeps asking akhil and me what is that one moment you fell in love with and thought she was the one so akhil keeps saying it's a series of moments that have been stitched together that you realize that this person is trustworthy and you love them a lot yeah so i think for me we completed 3 years i cannot believe it i cannot believe it's only been 3 years with veronica i've literally seen her every day of my life unless there's some real like stuff happening yeah i tend to hang out with the outside of work during work like she's my go to person for everything yeah. dude and we're always like up to doing like stuff like that you know and, and i feel like our values firstly ties very close together our past feel like that has a huge impact on who your close friends become because yeah. they really empathize and get where you're coming from So um we our love for beauty is something that we always talk about. I think our aesthetics match really well. Yeah. I don't know if I remember a moment where we have had like really massive arguments and stuff because there's a question. We had any argument. Yeah, we have that's what I'm saying even as friends it's important to respect each other mutually and yeah. talk stuff out. Yeah. Like you know if you're fighting with your best friend all the time and calling each other names it's just not a good place. So we have like similar stuff like that. What do you think? Um yeah definitely and also I think out of it's very important to feel welcome to have these conversations and feel like you're not being judged for what you do especially at my age I feel like you're the person I'm so comfortable telling everything to and not like hesitating because you create that space and we create it for each other well like you know you can come tell me anything like yeah. and I will not judge I will not be angry I will not yeah uh, no matter what it is like yeah. we don't get offended because I think we learned that you know there is no reason to be offended um uh, for anything at all so right we just continue to support each other and we, I think we have enough trust in each other that we'll always be here we're always going to we have the best interest for each other and oh, it's yeah. it's nothing other than that there's no other intention apart from that so definitely yeah but i i keep wondering like how have i seeped into every part of your life <laughs> like yeah she I feel has. like your whole family knows me everyone knows me if marvika is not like picking up her mom's <laughs> call they won't call akhil they call her <laughs> they call me a mom in law calls me so yeah everyone calls me and it's hilarious so i just keep wondering how have we seeped so into each other's life but Does it bother Veronica that Malvika is the face of the brand even though she is a co-founder? Very large shoes to fill to be a co-founder of a startup at this age. If you want to create an extraordinary life for yourself, you have to put in extraordinary hours. To stick around when that startup then becomes something. We take accountability on our own instead of blaming everybody else. Have you guys <laughs> say the first? You have some wild thoughts about the both of us. Okay? How much capital is required? for starting a startup. If you're going into color cosmetics, oof, don't even ask. If you're yeah. not selling your product, you have lost that investment that you've put in, but that's the risk of the business. In one of your vlogs, Veronica spoke about her father being authoritative and restrictive. I have had a history of abuse verbally and physically from my father, always living fearfully in the presence of your dad, which yeah. is like my dad would still have the control, like he would be the author of my story and she is not ready to try new food items at a restaurant. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Middle Eastern. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew that. <laughs> It's such. <laughs>